So when we are drawing a nose and shading in a nose, there are a couple tips. So first off, when you're looking at a nose, especially front on, there are a few sections to it. So what I like to do is kind of have these, what, um, what I've called these droopy Mickey Mouse ears here. So, you know, usually Mickey Mouse's ears are at the top, so droopy means they're a little bit below. So that helps me kind of break down the shapes of the nose a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some of those marks. So now that I've got that overall shape in here, we're gonna talk about creating some of these values. So this is kind of a blurry picture, but I will tell you, um, so where values kind of lay on a nose. So we're gonna have the deepest values in the nostril. Um, we're also gonna show the way that the nostrils kind of bend around here. So I'm gonna get started. Instead of when, a lot of times when you're first drawing a nose, you'll do a very harsh outline around everything, but noses are completely made up of values. There are really not too many edges besides the edge of the nose and the edge of the nostrils, um, besides the edge of these nostrils and this um, corners here. There really aren't hard defined edges that you would create a line for. Most of it is made up of values. So I'm gonna just do the top with values and then talk about the bottom. So now that I'm getting here to this nose, what we're gonna see is the tip of the nose I'm gonna try to make some of these guidelines a little bit lighter here. The tip of the nose is really gonna be the lightest because it's coming out. So the light's gonna hit the tip. It's gonna create a little bit of this back shadow on the bottom here. Sometimes we forget that there will be a little bit of a shadow that kind of comes around this nostril to kind of keep the roundness of the tip of that nose. And then, um, because this nostril kind of comes out the edge here, uh, you're gonna end up creating this back shadow that happens as that form comes forward. Then inside of your nostril, we're gonna have the deepest, darkest. But a lot of times when people first start drawing or shading in nostrils, they'll do something like this, where it's a very, very dark, um, you know, two dark spots. That's not the way that it works. What ends up happening is that we've got the deepest shadow back here as it goes back into the nose, but then it starts to fade into the skin and come towards the light. So you're gonna have a deeper, darker shadow as you come towards this area, but then that's gonna start to fade as it comes forward. And this picture is a little bit blurry, but sometimes you could see it a little bit more. So then this nostril comes around and then connects to the skin. So it actually has a little bit of light, more lightness than we um, originally might think. There's this little drop shadow here. Do the same here. We've got the darkest part as it goes back into that space. And it kind of fades in that gradation there. A lot of times you might see a little bit of like a highlight because the skin um, underneath the nose then connects to the mouth here. Um, so it kind of dips here so it will create a little bit of a shadow and then you'll have some of the highlight as it goes. So now um, I'm just gonna kind of finish up and refine them and blend that all together. Oh, another shadow I forgot about is um, right here in this nostril, we usually have like a dip down. Um, so that's gonna create a little bit of a shadow to create that form here. And where your lines move towards that cross contour. Think about when we did cross contour. So as you're shading, you wanna make those marks that move across the form the way that we did the cross contour lines. I'm getting some marks here. 
So I'm gonna start putting a piece of paper underneath my hand so I stop smearing as much. So as I'm building up the layers, I'm gonna start to create these little shadows that create the, these sections. So they all start to kind of come together here and create some interesting overlaps of your shapes. <laughs> 